Hey everyone, just before this video starts, I just want to say I am well aware that this is not the most updated version of the Ragnarok, it's just the most updated version on the Steam page, on the Workshop, and so it's the one I did have to use. Also, the design it's fighting is almost as outdated, so I think it all balances out. This video is not about any kind of competition or anything like that. I've been watching Rob as for years at this point, this has just been recommended so many times, and honestly, who doesn't want to see so much firepower? fighting each other. So, I hope you all enjoy. Now to my normal intro. Greetings, sirs and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a bit of an odd video which I'm recording because I just lost two other videos which I decided were far too boring. So, we're just going to fight some stuff to make sure I have a video for today. And honestly, this has been requested for years at this point. So I think let's do a little bit of fan service. We have the Ragnarok, easily the most famous design in From the Depths, and an absolute brute. Although, it is also heavily outdated at this point. This is the most up-to-date version on the workshop, but I did notice a few weirdnesses, so I have had to turn off detection systems just to make sure it works correctly. I've also allowed it to spawn in for the last five minutes, so its steam engines all work correctly, because I did notice the shields were being a little bit odd as well. Now, before we start, I do want to say this by no means is about anything to prove the superiority of a design, because honestly, I'm rooting for the Ragnarok here, but it's all about just good fun and honestly, a fantastic fight, because this vehicle is all about trying to, to survive heavy firepower, and this vehicle is all about really really heavy firepower. There will be a link, of course, in the description to Robaz, who created this, and I'm really looking forward to seeing just how well the Medrum Guard can survive, but also I just want to see a lot of destruction. So the whole point about the Ragnarok is the main weapons. These advanced cannons are just insane. They are absolutely huge, as you can see. They go all the way down to the bottom, and they pump out a lot of 500mm shells. Over here, in the Medrum Guard, uh, ignore that, I spawned one in a bit too close and then decided to back it off. We have two 500mm cannons, which are nowhere near as strong as the Ragnaroks. We have the Particle Cannon, which is pretty weak, but okay. We have, we have a lot of Munition Defense, which should help, but it's not all that great versus advanced cannons, so maybe, and then quite heavy shielding and very heavy armor on the front. The idea is the Medrum Guard can survive any attack. Well, at least in the campaign. Not when custom designs are involved. I've decided to spawn in the Medrun Guard so close because the Medrun Guard gets more powerful the further it gets away, and during the fight it will be backing off anyway. So at this point, we can see everything that's going on. I've also made sure that we have no points in anything here except for Brawler to make sure I survive, and of course, I'm on the bottom of the ocean so I give no advantages to either of the vehicles. This will be a best of three format. The vehicle to get two wins first wins pretty much. So, shall we just start the fight? Though one last thing, I know you're probably sick of me talking already, but the designs are both old. The Ragnarok is from late 2016, and the Medrungard is from mid-2017, both before major updates. So they're kind of in the same update area, at least. Taking controls only. Three, two, one, battle one commence. Probably going to have some serious lag to begin with. The Ragnarok will take some time to aim, but once it's aimed, that's when a lot of the destruction will happen. This is the point in time where the Medrun Guard has the advantage. The shells it's using are Hesh, sorry, no, are Heat shells before the update, and its missiles are very, very outdated as well. There we go, look at that, it's just a stream of green death. I think they're high explosive fragments. Shield's doing quite well, though. It's currently reloading its weapons. It has to do that after each volley. It takes about 30 seconds. The Ragnarok, on the other hand, apparently isn't slowing down. Although, it looks like it is having a bit of trouble staying in the water. The torpedoes are definitely damaging that hull. Okay, so far, looks like neither side have really sustained all that much damage. I would have thought the torpedoes would have done better, but apparently the Ragnarok is more heavily armoured than I imagined. 
Its missiles seem to be going off in the wrong direction, which I'm okay with. I'm assuming they're damaged. Incoming shells again. The shields are doing a good job at stopping a lot of these. Why does one bounce? They do have inertial fuses. That shouldn't be possible, but apparently it is. Behold the power of the Ragnarok. Making shells do something they apparently aren't allowed to do. Weapons are firing again. Oh, there was an internal explosion there in the Ragnarok. Not a huge one, though, by the looks of things. Man, the Ragnarok heals quick. I've only got, like, five repair bots on the Medrin Guard. I think the Ragnarok has in excess of 20. But I could be wrong there, so don't hold me to that. It definitely heals fast, though. The munition lasers doing a great job stopping even the advanced cannons. Well, I suppose they are 500mm. Surprisingly, the larger gauge cannon shots tend to be weaker versus these type of things. Although they have more health, they're easier to detect and therefore easier to knock out. Ooh, one did get through, though, and it even got through the shield. That was not a good thing to see. And it's an orb of green right now. Oh, those missiles are so outdated. I'm just watching them thinking, please, let me swap them. But nope, we're keeping them as they are. The outdated designs fight once more. Oh, it seems like the Medrin Guards got so far away, the Ragnarok's trying to straighten itself out to follow. Which is not a great thing, honestly, because it has less shielding on the top like this, and therefore the shells are getting through. Oh. As my frames go to zero. Whoa! That was a lot of fragments. Okay, I believe one of the cannons just went up. Let's pause time to have a quick look-see what just happened. Yeah, definitely one of the cannons were just was just knocked out, and it was a rather frame-killing experience. I am really treating this like the ultimate test for the Medrin Guard. I should also mention that the Medrin Guard is 35,000 volume, making it about half of the Ragnarok. I think it's that anyway. We'll check afterwards. The costs aren't too dissimilar, though. It's only 100,000 between them, with the Ragnarok being 100,000 more. Oh, it looks like it is starting to sink, which is a really good thing for the Medrin Guard, as now the torpedoes can hit anywhere, not just the bottom of the hull. Oh, lag again. I'm assuming a weapon went down. Not sure what happened, but there was a lot of lag there. Still only 20% health loss, though. This is ridiculous. I think the engine has been damaged. No, it hasn't. The shields are still there. I just couldn't see them from under the water. I think I'll skip ahead here now because I'm fairly certain a winner has been decided. And now I'm glad I didn't put money on this. I would be a terrible gambler. Those explosions, though. What is going on in there? One second, we need to check that out. Just constant chain explosions. Um, I don't see anything explosive in it. Oh, oh, hello, engine. That's not the colour an engine should be. Yet yeah, the torpedoes are just absolutely ripping this thing apart now. They're so weak, though. They're so outdated. I'm just watching the damage and thinking, I could do so much better now. Oh, a lot of lag again. Hopefully this is still recording. Oh, the Ragnarok has been destroyed. I think it's AI. Yep, it's AI. It must have been knocked out. 
Well, that was round one. Now let's go for round two. Okay, I think I've gave it long enough to once again make sure the steam engines are fully functional. We're going to be spawning in the bedroom guard about here, so still very close. This is why we're not using the arena version or anything like that. It's just easier for me to make sure everything is placed correctly. Because I'm a bit weird like that. So, where are you? Man, we have so many things here, it's ridiculous. The Medrin Guard is 514,000 resource. And the volume is 36,000. Okay. Did I just accidentally spawn that in on the side of the enemy? Yes, I did. Look at that. The evil Medrin Guard. Okay, try two for round two. These torpedoes, they're going... Over the enemy. That's that's normal. Lot of lag there straight away. Oh, one of the weapons was instantly knocked out. The shells must have got through the shield this time. Yay for random chance, I suppose. Two of the weapons have been removed. But here comes the counterattack from the Ragnarok, although it is lacking two of its main turrets. Yes, I'm fully aware I'm pronouncing Ragnarok wrong. The shells actually- Oh, hello, okay, so what happened there is one of the advanced cannons was crippled. It just lost a lot of its shells. And again, okay, I think the Medrin God has lost one of its main weapons. A bit of revenge there. Both sides doing way more damage to each other early on than in the previous battle. Okay, and that's the main attack out of the way. Now at maximum range. The Ragnarok firing like that is really not going to work out too well. It needs to fire in a cluster. Thus overwhelming the anti-shells. The anti-shells, the munition defense is the name there, Latherix. Well then. Fragments doing a little bit of damage when the shell explodes, but not really enough to cut through armor. Oh, direct it on the front though. And there we go, an actual stream of green. Seems like the munition defense has been... Yep, yeah, it's definitely been damaged. It's lost half of it on the left side. So now more shells will get through. An internal explosion there. Yep, a lot of shells were just dropped. I think it's lost both... No, it hasn't lost its left advanced cannon. It's just damaged. A much closer fight this time around. The advanced cannons were built though, so sections could be destroyed, but the weapons still fire. As you can see, the one on the right is still firing, just not particularly well. The munition defense though has been completely turned off. So now it's going to be, can the torpedoes destroy the Ragnarok before the Ragnarok's turrets, if I can say it, can destroy this? That's not how physics works, guys. Here comes the next set of shots. Honestly, if the Ragnarok was using Hesh or Heat Shells, I think it would have won already. Oh! That's a lot of damage being done. Yep, that- oh, yep, definitely the weapon is literally gone. I love how much damage both sides can take. I would love to get my hands on the more updated version of the Ragnarok. Honestly, it would just win versus this. But saying that, this is outdated as well, so if this was updated, the fight would continue. I don't know where the shell should hit now for maximum damage. I guess 
probably here-ish where the weapon was to get through to the core. Hitting the front will do very little. There is very little in there except for armor. Let's take a look at the Ragnarok. Three misses, sadly, there. You can hear the Ragnarok healing. That's the thing as well. The Ragnarok can heal at a fairly decent pace. And the torpedoes and missiles are not strong at all. Oh. Lots of shells heading their way. Oh, the Medrangard is being absolutely just hit by so many of those. Although its left advanced cannon is still firing. I didn't realize that was still online. Its PID system is struggling, though. Must have lost a lot of thrusters. If it gets in the water, I actually don't know what will change, honestly. I don't think that will really stop it. Most of its systems can function underwater. The Medrangard is more hurt than the Ragnarok. Oh, internal explosion. The lag is real. I don't know what just lost what, but something bad just happened. Even on a beast computer, this is the best we can get. Oh, that, yep, yeah, that was definitely... No, was it definitely? Let's have a quick look-see. I think the Ragnarok may have lost a weapon. Yes, it did. Oh, I think the Ragnarok just about loses this one. Oh, my God, and there goes the Medrangard. <laughs> PID system, completely offline. Yeah, that's the PID actually being broke at this point, not the thrusters, because these back thrusters wouldn't be on. Um... Well, you're, wow, the torpedoes can no longer get to the Ragnarok. Can the Ragnarok heal? Serious lag again. I don't know what just lost what. Oh, it looks like the Ragnarok just lost something. I can see the blocks flying off. Go to just pause now so we can just see this spectacle. Oh, you did. No, why are you... Oh, okay, so those sections aren't actually there. That's just the damage catching up. I was going to say, is it self-destructing? Is it? No. Why? Okay, I don't know what's happening here. Why is it doing this? Its AI is still there. Oh, perhaps its AI was destroyed and then repaired. That's the only explanation I can say here. It shouldn't be doing this. I'm tempted to give them one more fight because that was A, awesome, and B... The Medrangard is upside down. Oh no, the torpedoes are working, look! They are turning as they fire. Yeah, the, the Medrangard would have won here, even though it is upside down. It's not going to sink because of the internal rotors are still keeping it slightly afloat. And these torpedoes are going to keep on going. I don't quite know why the Ragnarok just self-destructed, but it only happened at the very end there. 2-0 to the Medrangard, just about. Let's have, a th let's have a third fight just for the sake of it. So upon closer inspection, it looks like the reason that the Ragnarok died was it was damaged in enemy territory or sinking in enemy territory. One of those, especially after how long the fight was going on. At least that's what seemed to have happened. And that was very unfair because the Medrangard will never have that problem since it's classed as my vehicle. So instead, this time around, I'm going to spawn in the Medrangard as an Onyx Watch unit. That way they are both AI and they both have the same limitations. So I'm calling for a redo of the second fight, basically. Here's hoping this works. They should fight, I believe. Yes, they are. Excellent. This time, not being quite so lucky with that first strike, none of the weapons have been removed. There is a large amount of luck when shields are involved, I have to say. This time around, all the weapons are being fired at once and they are totally overwhelming the munition defense. It's definitely more fair to have the Medrangard so far forwards. If it was already so far back, there'd be so many shells missing right now. This is the point where the Ragnarok needs to do the bulk of its damage. 
And it is succeeding. I've seen several shells be ejected from the advanced cannons. So the advanced cannons have definitely taken some damage at least. Okay, let's have a look-see. And the, the Medrin Guard took 7% damage from that first attack. And the Ragnarok took 3. Returning fire now. I really want to change those shells to Hesh shells. Heat was so nerfed. <laughs> Looking at both of the designs, if you look at the more modern version of the Ragnarok, you can see a huge difference. What has happened? The Ragnarok has lost one of its mainframes, which apparently was controlling its AI. It's now fully AI dead. Wow, that was some seriously lucky shots there. Where is the mainframe? Is it like here? <laughs> What a time for the game to freeze up. <laughs> I forgot about that, the restaurant. <laughs> oh, you've got to hand it to um, Rob as He's definitely a good entertainer. Oh, Medrangard, what happened? Why does this keep on happening? Wow, the PID must have been knocked out in the last second again. Yep, definitely the PID and not the thrusters, because once again, the back one is... You know, I've never seen that happen until today with the Medrangard. Oh, well, it's definitely close. But yeah, with the AI dead, it's already starting to self-destruct just slowly. So the Ragnarok has lost again. Now, the first battle, I'll also say I should have done this. Because if the AI was destroyed on the Medrin Guard, it wouldn't have the AI dead thing. Because it's mine and it's in the workshop. Which is annoying. Workshop? Sandbox. Love in the butt show there, uh, Medrin Guard. A lovely way to end it, just on this lovely scene. So with that, thank you for watching. I know it was a bit of a weird video and massively outdated. Should have done this a couple of years ago, honestly. But people really wanted to see it. I keep getting requests even to this day. And both of the ships are outdated. I thought it'd be a lot of fun. And otherwise, I wouldn't have got a video today. So hope you've all enjoyed it. Hope you've all took it in just good fun. And if you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff. Helps out me, helps out the channel. And most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Now, one thing I will say is if someone knows that the Ragnarok is somewhere more updated, feel free to tell me, because I do have a more updated ship to fight against it, which would be the Nihilev. There we are, the Nihilev. Railguns, powerful lasers, powerful missiles, which have probably been nerfed as well, since this was made... It's modern, but it's not that modern, basically. So this would have been the ship I would have fought with, but this is far more powerful than the Medrin Guard. It, it can crush the Medrin Guard, so I don't think it would have been a fair fight in the slightest. In terms of volume, it's still a little bit smaller than the Ragnarok, but it is more expensive, and that's because of all the heavy metal and a lot of the more expensive stuff like the lasers. So, yeah, with that, thank you so much for watching. Perhaps I'll use this versus something in the future. I haven't used this ship in a long time, and it is one of my favourite ships of all time. So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.